The instructional principles for inclusive media literacy have been applied to the design and delivery of the media literacy basics video training for municipal workers. In this video, I will explain in more detail how the video training came about. The video training was designed during two half-day workshops. Five media literacy professionals participated in the workshops. The workshops started with a review of the participants' resources and a reflection on their skills. Participants felt it best to focus on the content of the videos and to explore the possibility of using an external party for the technical implementation of the videos. The design of the video training was based on a focus on the target group and the context. An open online survey was conducted with municipal workers to determine how media literacy issues are reflected in their work, what kind of support they feel they need to better perform their tasks, and what structural changes or decisions would help promote media literacy among municipal residents. The online survey allowed a wide range of perspectives to be asked, regardless of the geographical location of the participants. Alternatively, participatory workshops, interviews or group discussions would have been held face-to-face -face or online. The responses were used to compile sample profiles of municipal employees for whom the video training was designed. Participants in the workshop felt it important that both the content and the illustration of the video training consider the diversity of municipal employees. The participants ensured that the videos were in line with the principles of safe space and that they used non-discriminatory language. If the participants are not already familiar with the principles of safe space, it is a good idea to go through them with the participants first. The content of the videos were divided into three short videos considering the skills and wishes of the municipal workers. The videos deal with what a mediatized society looks like, why media literacy is important, and how municipal workers can promote their own and their clients' media literacy. The videos use current but timeless examples. The examples help to concretize the contents and visualize them from the perspective of your own work. Timeless increases the relevance and importance of the content. The video training can be used by municipalities as a basis for developing joint activities, thus supporting the involvement of municipalities. It is helped that the video training will also motivate frontline staff to promote media literacy. The training will be free of charge for all, taking accessibility into account and will be published in both Finnish and Swedish. The videos will be subtitled and the content of the videos will be published in text format. You can view the video training in full from Media Literacy School. It will also be marketed directly 
to municipal workers. The workshops showed that the instructional principles can be applied to the working methods used and considered in the media education content. The workshop also showed that the instructional principles can be used as part of other work at a low threshold. There is no one right template for action to strengthen equality, but it involves over time. The important thing is to get started. How can you implement the instructional principles to your own work? <laughs>